Okay, Matthew Rowe has just had his very first Premier League start, which was a 3-0 win against Newcastle. And we score this goal into Matthew Rowe's chance to shoot this time for us shot by us and that's gonna go into the right top corner like by far the best game of our career so far but we're still getting a feeling that Brentford want to loan us out in January and the transfer window is only two months away and also we have a very big game coming up that is going to have a lot of very very personal feelings for us but as always drop a like for more daily episodes and also with that sub button we're trying to reach 200,000 subs okay it may be 8 p.m that won't stop us from getting a workout in though and look at this we're getting better at this we're getting stronger you can see the improvements in us like it's not as tough as it was in the previous episode okay it's Okay, maybe it's still kind of tough. But what's working out if you don't eat a healthy and balanced diet? So today we're uh, we're eating some peas. I mean, look at us. We're getting healthy now. Yeah, after working out, eating dinner, we uh, have a little shower real quick. And then we decide, you know, we go on the internet, you know, search some articles, read about the Premier League, read about any like breaking news about the Premier League. And that's when we see an article about us. ESPN releases an article about our fight with Telemans. And they also interviewed him. And he says that our tackle on him was dirty. Like, come on, it may have been an accident, but it wasn't even that rough of a tackle. Like, this is not going to be good for our reputation here. And then we get a phone call. And it turns out, it's David Beckham. So he calls like chicken with us. He hasn't spoken to us in a little bit. Says that he saw our Newcastle game. Said that was a great game for us. But he's calling because he just saw this article was released. And we're like, yeah, that wasn't even a dirty tackle. How are they gonna call us a dirty player? And Beckham says the current day players are soft. And says like back in his day that was a normal tackle. And before we say goodbye, there's something we gotta ask him though. Like we've been told there's interest from the MLS in us and a loan deal. And we ask him like, is that coming from you in Inter Miami? And he tells us, well, if that was the case, he can't really say yes or no to that question. He tells us, ask him in a couple weeks, and he might have a more concrete answer for us. So the MLS interest could be from him like from inter miami but okay it's time for bed we have a very big month ahead of us we got a very busy month of november and then december 4th we return to old trafford okay first coming going by realism here when rose gets stronger through time you should add some more pounds on him yeah like adding to his strength attribute i think that's definitely the plan you know, we bought that workout we bought that gym basically to help improve our weight we're only 152 pounds like we are a skinny boy so that is the plan you should go to the air division because big players made a name for themselves there like hakeem ziak frankie de Jong, and matthias delic yeah we know there's interest from mls air division and then la liga 2 and we were told in the last episode by Brentford's fo football director that he wants to know which league we prefer to go to. I think if we had to go out and loan the Eredivisie, I wouldn't mind it. We have to make a decision to let him know soon. All right, last episode, we scored two goals and we had two assists. So that means four skill points to spend. The so first one, ball control, 68 to 71. I really want like our on-ball stats to be better. I feel like we're so like, like sloppy on the ball. And then we opted for free kicks, 69 to 75. Like I want Matthew Rose to be a free kick specialist. Like David Beckham is kind of our mentor here. We're inspired by that. So we've been training our free kicks up. I'm hoping that means that Brentford manager Thomas Frank will let us take free kicks but i mean who knows and then shot power 61 to 64 to pretty much help with those free kicks okay we may have started against newcastle but thomas frank still sees us as a sub coming off the bench we're like we're not permanently a starter but in good news we've climbed up to 14th out of relegation zone we gotta try and stay out of it though we're gonna sim bournemouth so brentford v bournemouth is gonna be it's gonna be a 1-1 draw courtesy of having tony scored our goal uh, matthew rose got a 5.9 rating so kind of like a below average game next game is brighton 60 second minute we're coming on and the game is currently nil nil so as we usually try to do let's try to help our team win the game like trying to build off that newcastle performance where we scored one and assisted one like after that Newcastle game we kind of feel like we should be a starter at least have another chance to start soon but it was like Thomas Frank and Brentford they're very cautious in how they're uh utilizing us okay that's a good tackle by Matthew Rose our defensive work is getting a lot better recently it just feels like they're holding us back on purpose because we're so young it feels like that that's another tackle by Matthew Rose defensive impact we have impact on a winning game though Okay, this is a good move though. Oh, could have played as Ivan Tony. Should have been better. Nord guard into Matthew Rose. Play it out to the winger. Into Matthew Rose. Can we get it? Oh man, I tried to slide it to the left winger, I think. That was a bit sloppy. Oh man, that's a that is a great ball. McAllister scores. Ars was that Ben Me? We got so caught out there. It's 1-0 to Brighton. Like this pass was disgusting by Danny Welbeck. Look at this pass. Just beats Ben Me. McAllister first time shot. Alright, we are we are down 1-0. Also, let's try not to get into any more fights, you know, because like we're already kind of being labeled a hothead. But we are so far from that. So let's not try and uh, hurt our reputation even more. Ball into Matthew Rose. We got a long shot chance. We're going to shoot this because we can. It's going to be right at the keeper, though. That was a bit selfish. Hey, after Newcastle, I think we got the green light, though. Rose in Tyvon Tony. Tony can't find the striker, though. Okay, it's us versus Matoma, one of the hottest young Premier League prospects. We missed our tackle. Matoma. He's studied how to get by us, but we just made a good tackle and we keep the ball in. We did decent there. Ball into Matthew Rose. We got options here. Ivan Tony. He's in. He's going to shoot. Ivan Tony shoots, and there's an assist from Matthew Rose. Ivan Tony scores. This game is 1 1. That is the impact that we need to have in every single game. Like, finally, ourselves and Ivan Tony are starting to click together as a duo. Like, that's a perfect finish. Like, that thing was hit with some, like, venom. That thing was dipping. All right, 10 minutes left. This game is 1 1. We have a chance to grab a winner here, maybe. Like, we're an energy midfielder. We're here to press, you know, put pressure. Now, we can't give up the lead, though, after just equalizing. Okay, that was a good defensive play. Ball into Rose. Hey, okay, Tony, I see you, Tony. Ball into Ivan Tony. Oh man, inches away. That could have been the winner right there. Bro, we are putting so much pressure on Brighton, but they somehow get out of it. Oh no. Danny Welbeck shoots. 
Good save, Strakosha. Corner sent in. That is going to be... Oh, man, that's good off the line. I think he just hit the post, too. Oh, boys, get the ball out. Thank you. Jeez. Oh, no. Please, no. Please save it. Oh, Brighton are going to score. All our work is erased. I can't believe it. This has happened so much this season. Oh, man. What is it? We got three minutes now. Okay, wait a second. We have a free kick. Oh, we're not taking it, though. I thought we may take it. 90th minute. We have a chance to maybe score here. Oh, I wish we were taking it, but it goes to our teammate. Can he score this? It's definitely scorable distance. We're going to try to get the rebound. If there is one. Shoots. Off the crossbar. Someone get the rebound, please. Oh, it's going to be cleared. Okay, find the pass, boys. Find it. Find it. Okay, good ball. Cross it in. That's going to be crossed to Rose. To Ivan Tony. Tony shoots. Oh, it's going to be blocked. That was the chance. Oh, man. I am heartbroken. That was the chance. It was a great, it was a great free kick. Chance on the rebound, but it's going to be a 2-1 loss. Oh, man. We got an assist. We played good ourselves. I think that was a very solid game from us. But it's going to be another loss for this team. Okay, we got a short little interview after that game. And they ask us why we're not a regular starter. Like, it seems like every time we go off the bench, we have a good impact on the game. Now, like, we know what we really want to say. But we got to be professional, though. So, once again, we say that we play whatever role the manager thinks is best for us. As long as it helps the team win games. But, yeah, like, we're starting to get a little bit annoyed here. Just a little bit. All right, next game is Fulham. It's currently 1-0. And it coming on again in the 60th minute. I mean, to be fair, like, there's not many 18-year-olds, like, starting in the Premier League right now. But we feel like we're playing at a level where we could possibly start. But we just got to Keep him off the bench. Having impact, that's all we can do. Keep trying to play our best game. Now, up 1 0, 30 minutes left. We should win this game, really. Okay, that's awkward. That's going to be cleared. Matthew Rose, get that clearance. Yes, we can. All right, this is Matthew Rose versus Mitrovic. Okay, our defensive ability is getting a lot better here quickly. Rose into Ivan Tony. Tony over the top to Matthew Rose. Waiting for the overlap, waiting for it. Ivan Tony. Gets the ball. Side-footed finish. It's going to be saved. Our chemistry is going up, though. You can, like, see us connecting a lot more. Down the middle. Into Matthew Rose. Tries to get it to Ivan Tony. We do. Ivan! What was that finish? That should be an assist right there. Ivan, don't tell me you're doing it again. Don't tell me you're betting on the game. Awkward. Mitrovic, Ben me. Doesn't do a great clearance there, but we do get the ball back. That was very awkward. In to Willian. Please don't score. Defense holds up again. All right, corner to defend. That's going to be out to our teammates. And Strakosha makes an amazing save. Okay, this game is not that safe. Another corner sent in. We need to get a win on our belts. And off the line. Rebound. Out. Out to Rose. Out to Rose. Thank you. All right, give it to Ivan Tony. Tony, hold it up. So I got to do. In to Matthew Rose. Over to the striker. In to... Oh, man, we're not going to win that. Oh, we actually do. We cross it into Ivan Tony. Cross it in. Beautiful. Ivan Tony gets to it, but it's going to be right to the keeper. Bro, we are getting better, though. Oh, no. They got a free kick, I think, in a very good spot. Oh, no. They might score this. It's Willian. He's a very decent free kick taker. Free kick. And, of course, he puts it in the back of the net. We can't hold a lead to save our lives right now. Oh, it's making me sick. 12 minutes. The game is tied up. Get out. Into Matthew Rose. We find Ivan Tony. Oh, man. That was a bad pass. But we stay with it, though. We stay with it. Into the other striker. And he actually misses. Okay, was it saved? Okay, it was saved. I was about to get so mad. Oh, how do you still miss that, though? Corner sent in. Matthew Rose, we're fighting for it, but it's right at the keeper, though. Harrison Reed into that guy. I don't know who that is, but the shot is very tame. All right, boys, we got like six minutes. All right, Ivan Tony is making a little bit of a run. I like that. Oh, man, Yanelt. Yanelt finds Matthew Rose. We find the shot. Matthew Rose looking for the shot. And now we miss. How do we miss that shot? Oh, I feel sick to my stomach. I actually feel sick. A chance to score the winner, and we actually just put it wide. We got it two minutes. We play into the final whistle here. Yanelt into Ivan Tony. Tony gets it to Yanelt. Into Matthew Rose. Matthew Rose waiting for that pass. In. Oh, man. What was that? That was terrible. We get another chance, though. No, we don't, because Ivan Tony loses it. Oh, man. We just messed up that chance, too. And that game is going to end as a 1 1 draw. I actually feel sick right now. Our teammate has a chance to score off our assist. He misses. It actually was a good save, I guess. And then we just miss a great chance. Oh, man. This should have been a win. This kind of game where the manager looks at us and he's like, maybe he's not ready to play at this level. I don't even know. After that game, Thomas Frank comes up to us and he tells us first thing in the morning, he wants us in shooting training. I guess that's punishment for missing that chance. So here we are, bright and early in the morning, training on our shooting we just missed again i'm not gonna lie i am disgusted we missed that chance we gotta try and do good here at least have a little saving grace okay the keeper just took us out this is training sir like can you relax we just hit the post all right come on gotta score that one that's an easy one and we do score it all right next game is gonna be everton again 60th minute the game is currently nil nil i guess thomas frank just loves the 60th minute matthew rose sub man after that last game we can't we can't miss our chances like that once again the game is nil nil so a good chance to get a win against a very team that's struggling in real life right now all right that's a shot by dwight mcneil and that's right at strakosha all right right back into matthew Rose into Ivan Tony. Tony gives it back into the right winger. This movement's decent. What a pass right there. Oh, Ivan Tony. That was beautiful, but he can't score. Okay, we're taking a corner. I like that. Matthew Rose swings in the corner. Ivan Tony. Someone's up to it. And that's actually an own goal, I think. I think that's an own goal. We send in the corner. Who is it? It is off. Uh, it's actually an own goal. An Everton player 
just act like he was scoring. Who is it? I can't even see. I don't know who it is. It, it might be, uh, I actually don't know, but he just heads it right at Pickford. What just happened? Is that our assist? I, I mean, I don't think it is, but I wish it was. All right, 1-0. It was Decoray, 1-0 in the 60, I think, eighth minute. I mean, we'll take it. That is very weird. You don't see that very often. And now we're going on a run for our life into Ivan Tony. Tony plays it back to us into Matthew Rose. We can't miss the same chance we missed. And Pickford makes the save. How do we not score that? I am. I feel. I feel physically ill. How do we miss these chances? Oh, if they score now, I am gonna be so so upset. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, what just happened there? I don't even know. I think it was a good save actually. That's gonna be a, a bad cross out to Matthew Rose though. Right, ball sent in by Everton again, and that's gonna be one by Ivan Tony. I think that was handball though. Maybe not, but that's a shot. Awkward. Okay, Jansen, great tackle. Onana brings it out. We're in the middle, blocking that passing lane. We're doing a good job, and we should just clear that. We do. Attack is not over, though. This Sean Dyke led Everton. Matthew Rose, what a tackle. Beautifully done. And now Matthew Rose into the striker. Please keep running. Why is he so slow? Keep running. Oh, man, he's got no stamina. And that shot was the most pathetic shot I've ever seen. You know, coming from us, we can't even say that. Never mind. Oh, man, that's a great ball. Oh, we can't stop that pass. Damari Gray, please no. Strakosha. Great save. There's no way we lose another lead. There's no way. Please clear that. Thank you. We're first to it as usual. We got stamina. I am turning on the Jets. We don't have that much pace, but we're showing it. Oh, we got two men in the middle. Matthew Rose, swing it down the middle. That's got to be a goal. Thank you, Ivan Tony, and that should be a win. We just used our stamina and pace there. Oh, thank you. We miss our chance. We make up for it, though. We make up for it with an assist, a game-winning assist. Thank you, Ivan Tony and Mbuemo, for running the field. Okay, I feel a little bit better now. Right out to the right back. As of now, this game looks comfortable. If we just keep this up, all out wide, decent pass into Matthew Rose. Matthew Rose, chance to shoot. Pickford makes a great save. Bro, we're just struggling to finish our chances right now. Good ball, Matthew Rose. Have a chance to make it one more if we can play this smart. But okay, he just he was trying to just waste time, I guess. Okay, wait, we have one more chance, actually. Rose into Ivan Tony. Tony turns. Can we get on to that? We can. We get the shot away, I think, and it's going to go wide. It was actually saved. A little bit less embarrassing. Cross into the box. We are there for that. Not going to get it, though. And that's going to be probably another goal kick. Wait, chance still alive. Okay, Everton are on the ropes here. Rose, Rose, okay, keep it, please. Lay it out wide, good ball. Get into the box for the cross. Aaron Hickey, cross in, Rose is up for that. Oh man, we almost scored a header. It's gonna go wide. Hey, 2 0 win, we got the assist. We missed some chances still, but we got the assist that won the game. That right there was a better game. So I'm happy with that. Now, as we're walking out the field, Neil Malpai comes up to us and he tells us great finish, like being completely sarcastic. And we're like, hey, look at the scoreboard, bro. Like you lost. And he tells us, I'll see you on the pitch next time. Honestly, Neil Malpai is a little scary, to be honest. He's like, a, he's like a little pit bull. All right, next game, Villa, 60 second minute coming on. This game is going to be, it's gonna be a 2 1 loss against Villa at home. Tony scored and we got a 5.4 with the rest of the team. All right, so we currently sit in 16th place. We're what? Only two points off the relegation zone. This We're still in a relegation fight here. But as you probably saw, our next game is against Manchester United Old Trafford tomorrow. Like we have a chance to get revenge on the team that basically said we weren't good enough. All right, it's been a very, uh, very long month of November though. Like we are absolutely rinsed here. So like we've been living in this apartment now for like what? Three or four months? Like, yeah, we can watch TV, play video games. Like maybe practice some piano while we're at it too. But we kind of feel like we're getting like cooped up in here. So we decided to take a little nap. And when we wake up, I think it's actually time to like go out somewhere. Okay, we wake up. It's about 5 p.m. It's time to go out like the streets of London for the first time and find something to do. Like quite literally outside of our apartment, we have this nice big old park. So you know what? Let's uh, let's find something to do. You know why not uh, shoot some hoops? You know we're a multi-sport athlete here. Okay, we're not bad at basketball. Okay, maybe we are, maybe we okay we are bad at basketball. And look at that, we're even making a friend. All right, it seems like we're making a couple friends here. You know we're a professional footballer. We're like a little bit of a celebrity. You know you know we're taking a little jog over here now. Let's see what's over here. Like okay, we might be only 18, but I mean it's a karaoke bar. It's just karaoke bar you know, order a nice little beverage why not you know have a little relaxing time look at that we're making some friends you know making conversation i mean is it smart to be doing this like the night before a big game probably not but it definitely sounds like a professional footballer to me so bottoms up this is our first time ever being out in the uh, streets of london okay was there alcohol in that drink because i don't know what we're doing here this is turned into like a karaoke jam oh we're, we're getting into it we are getting into it okay we there might have been something in that drink i'm not sure okay people are literally getting up and leaving it's it's that bad matthew you're gonna be on tmz we gotta stop this are Reputation is bad enough. We need to leave. Okay, we definitely have some fun there, but it's time to actually be serious. We go for a little light jog to, uh, you know, run off whatever we drank. All right, finally, we get back home after uh, actually a pretty fun night. But we got Manchester United tomorrow. So you know what time it is. It's time to get pumped up, work out, and get ready for this huge game. Because if we get on the field, we have a chance to get revenge on Manchester United. So we need like a rocky type workout before a game here. Yeah, we're, we're dripping quite a lot of sweat here. All right, fast forward.
over to the next day, it is game day. So we arrive at Old Trafford once again and walk in the tunnels, we actually see Steve McLaren. Like, as we know, basically the guy who told us we weren't good enough. He says, hey, you know, good to see you. He tells us that he's happy for all the success we've had at Brentford. And we're kind of like, yeah, yeah, I bet you are. And he tells us good luck in the game. And then Thomas Frank calls us over and tells us, I know this is late notice, but we've had an injury in the warm ups. You're starting this game. In our return to Old Trafford, we are starting against Manchester United. Now he tells us he knows there's a lot of personal feelings in this game. It's kind of why he's starting us, but he tells us to keep our emotions in check. Like we could not be more happier. Finally, we're starting again. And then we see our good friend Garnacho in the in the tunnel and we tell him we're starting. Now, unfortunately, he is not starting. So we decided to like mess with him a little bit. We're like, hey, remember you said you're going to score against us? Can't really score if you're not playing. And he's like, haha, yeah, don't push your luck. Like you better pray I don't get on the field against you. And we're about to head back into the Brentford uh, dressing room. But then someone taps our shoulder and it's none other than David Beckham. He tells us he came to watch. You know, he's here today at Old Trafford to watch the game. We tell him that we were just told we're starting in this game. And he tells us he knows he's a former United legend, but he tells us to make them regret not signing us. Like that is all the motivation we need. So United are currently in sixth place. Uh, that is current top four, by the way. And we sit down in the bottom half of the table. So, I mean, it's a, it's a very big game. So we start in that left center mid spot. And this is our return to Old Trafford. Now, it was about like two or three months ago, we came here and played for the under 21 squad of Manchester United. Did not get signed. They didn't want to sign us. We have a chance to make them regret that. Like we could have been on that red side right there. We could have been in a red jacket playing for Manchester United, but we did not get it. This is like the biggest game of our career right here. It feels like so Brentford v United kicked off this one. This one's personal. There was ever a game where I want to play well in. It's this one. Ivan Tony immediately chance. It's going to be dragged wide. All right. Not a bad start though. Not a bad start to the game. Matthew Rose into Ivan Tony gets it back to Rose decently. We were on, we went around one there. We might score. Oh, okay. That's actually an own goal. That was so fast. I could barely see what's happening, but it's an own goal. But we get to celebrate in front of the old Trafford fans and it's one nil to Brentford. Okay. I could, I barely was aware of what's happening. We got past it there. We go for the shot. De Gea saves it, but it's off. I think uh, the shot off De Gea is off Dallow's foot into the back of the net. Oh, I wish it was our goal, but hey, I'll take it. That's good enough. Dallow own goal based off our shot, and it's 1-0 to Brentford. It's been six minutes. You've already caused United to concede. All right, we know the attacking quality they have. We got to really be strong defensively this game. Anthony's shot. Anthony's shot. Anthony's shot is into the back of the net. What a goal by Anthony. Oh man, our goal is erased just like that. I guess we were kind of out of position there. I didn't expect him to, to move that fast or shoot like that. All right, game is 1-1. We got to be more locked in than that. What a shot though. And Buemo into Matthew Rose. Tries to get it to Ivan Tony. He was in there. We got to get him get the ball there. All right, Ben Me into Rose. Good pass though. Works ball around into Matthew Rose. Look for the shot. We're going to shoot instead. That was selfish. Oh, man. We want to score against United. That was so selfish, though. Okay, we're working around the United defense. Not bad here. Another chance for Rose to get on a run. We're going to lay it off the striker into Ivan Tony. Tony shoots. We could have been there for the rebound. Oh, man. It's in a fall. That's a shot. And what is happening? That's going to be a corner. What a sequence. Okay, we are not taking this corner, but we are getting into the mix. That is a cross to Matthew Rose. That was actually off, uh, I think, Casemiro. Hey, we're getting in the mix here on these corners. We are getting in the mix. Rose, we're not going to win that one, though. Ball to Matthew Rose. We find the pass, maybe. We can't take another selfish shot. Good pass, though. Good pass. Gets it to Matthew Rose. He's fouled. I'll take that foul, honestly. We will take that. Who is taking the free kick, though? Don't tell me it's us. Oh, it's not us. Let us take the free kick. We would score this totally, I feel like. All right, Buemo, I, I have faith in you in scoring this. I wish it was us. Are we going to go up 2-1? Free kick into... It was a good free kick. I'll give him that good save, though. Ball lofted in again. That's a great corner. It's going to be out a little bit. Flipped up, though. Man, these corners are so chaotic. Okay, we just intercepted that pass to Veghorst. Beautiful. Now, we're going to play that up to Embuemo. Embuemo to Matthew Rose. Waiting for Ivan Tony. Waiting for him. I didn't see the opening, and we take the shot. It, okay, that was a, not as selfish as the last one. It wasn't our worst shot. We're really trying to make something happen here, though. We are playing with our emotions in this game. Probably a little bit too much. Okay, we got a chance to make a run here. Going to play that into Ivan Tony. Tony back to... Back to Rose, into Embuemo. That wasn't a great pass by us, though. All right, swing over. McTominay shot. Decent defensive work and cover there. Bad clearance by De Gea. Going to be into Rico Henry, into Matthew Rose, into... Okay, Embuemo, we're right here. We are right here. Oh, I didn't call for it. Rico Henry finds Matthew Rose. Oh, man, we're so close to this goal. We just can't get it to the right person. If he would have found us a second earlier, we'd have a much better shot. Bruno Fernandez, we are marking Bruno Fernandez. Quite a big... A big task for us, Veghorst. Okay, we're, we'll collect that. We're good. Ivan Tony, little give and go. Beautiful. Out to our striker. We got space here. Out to Matthew Rose. We pick out the pass. We're going to try and loft that in. Beautiful. Into Yanelt. And he is not going to put it in the back of the net, though. What a ball by Matthew Rose. All right, corner swung in. That is terrible. That is out to no one. That is out to us, though. We're going to try a first-time pass there. 
Lay it off. And of course he loses it. I am so I'm so upset with that. That is the first half. One to one. What a first half. This is chaos. I mean, we caused the first goal. We didn't exactly score, but we caused it. We need to have a big second half, though. Because I feel like we can score in this game. We can definitely win and score. We need to make the right plays. Rain Sancho over to Casemiro into Bruno Fernandez. We're gonna try and mark. He's kind of like a, our opposite player in this lineup. He's the one we gotta make sure the ball does not get to a dangerous spot. But we're kind of we're doing a lot here. Where's our other midfielders? They're not doing that much. Sancho against Ben Me. Gets around him, and then we do make the tackle, though. Oh, we got space here. Ivan Tony. Ivan Tony, I see you. Ivan Tony lays it off. Wait, he does actually. Matthew Rose chance to score, and De Gea is going to save it. I didn't expect that pass from Ivan Tony. Oh, man, another chance to score, and we ruin it. Oh, man, long shot right at Strakosha. Man, we should have scored that. I'm actually so mad. All right, get this ball out. We kind of got we got some space here, actually. Get it over to Ivan Tony. Get it out wide. Actually, down the middle is perfect. Oh, that's perfect. Good ball. We're in the box here. We are in the box. Cross in. Rose tries to climb for it. It's going to be cleared, though. Nord guard in to Matthew Rose. Into Ivan Tony. Ivan Tony shoulders the defender. Plays it back. Wasn't expecting that. Okay, this is, there's still space here. Rose into Enbuemo. Shoots. De Gea makes a save. We can't get the rebound. Corner sent in. That is going to be cleared out to Matthew Rose. We're going to volley that. Okay, that was right at the keeper. We wanted better technique than that. Matthew Rose in. Okay, I don't want that back like that, but we steal that. We actually stay with it. We have a chance here. Get out. Please shoot. He's going to shoot. Oh, he was so slow too. Bro, this game is winnable. Cross sent in again. Cleared out to Matthew Rose. Gets it to us. Okay. Whoa. Bruno Fernandez just took us out. We will remember that. Oh, man. Attack for United. This is like our story of the season. We have chances. We don't take them. And then they take their chances and score. That time they don't at least. We got 15 minutes. This has been just a chaos game. Okay. Both teams kind of going for it here. At least it feels like. Last 10 minutes. I think someone's going to score here. Bruno into Rashford defense sniffs it out though ball into Matthew Rose gets it Ivan Tony good ball ball out wide that is gonna be a pass oh Ivan Tony collects it into Matthew Rose plays it to the striker he's gonna turn shot oh gets right back to De Gea bro another good chance we get a chance here final minute of the game through ball to Embuemo chance to score Embuemo please score He's going to score, and that's the winner. We don't get a celebration, but Embuemo just scored our assist, and we just won at Old Trafford. That came out of nowhere. He made a darting run, and we just played the ball into him. We might have actually just won this game in the 90th minute based off our assist. Oh, please let that be the final goal. Please, ref, blow the whistle. Have we just won in our return to Old Trafford? Ref, blow the whistle, please. Okay, they might have one more chance. Tackled on Jaden Sancho. We have a chance for another attack, maybe? We do. Rose, out wide. Back into Rose. We hold it into the striker. Okay, striker. Give it to Matthew Rose. Play it. We're swinging this around. Yanelt. Visa. In to Matthew Rose. We're going to shoot. And we have scored and sealed the game for our team. I don't know why we're not getting celebrations, but Matthew Rose just scored at Old Trafford to seal the game 3-1. What has happened here in the final, like, four minutes? Matthew Rose left-footed shot. We finally put one in the back of the net oh man we just beat manchester united at old trafford what a win for the team what a performance what an everything that was such a dog fight type of game so many missed chances mistakes on both sides sloppy but in the end we had the assist to give us the lead and then we had a little tiny bow in the game and our goal to seal the win i can't believe we just did that at old trafford as we're walking out the field ten hog comes up to us and he tells us he remembers watching us in our first under 21 match and he saw that we definitely had some potential and he tells us good game and he gives us a little bit of encouragement saying keep going keep it up you can feel the regret in his eyes because we just beat manchester united oh man man of the match too in the dressing room the boys are going nuts like that is probably our best win of the season right there and in our turn we get man of the match thomas frank tells us we fought so hard in that game he's so proud of us and he tells us once again the media wants to speak to us so yet again another post game press conference first question from a premier league reporter and they ask us how does it feel scoring against a team that almost signed you and oh man we want to say how we truly feel so badly but once again we try and be professional here and we just say like scoring in a game of this magnitude is always wonderful but most importantly the team got the win now next question tim slater from the athletic who if you remember we met previously before and he tells us have you seen the report from fabrizio romano saying that brentford are 100 percent looking to loan us out in january for sure he's given it the here we go now like we we are shocked for one why would the manager tell us himself like tell us before we get told by a reporter and then after that game what are you talking about how good we play like why don't brentford want us 
us. So like we have no clue what to say. We just say uh, it's the first time hearing about it. And we kind of say like we'll have to talk about management before we have a comment on that. So we can't really uh, have a comment on that question. And like we we are not happy right now. So we go straight to Thomas Frank and we're asking him if it's true what the reporter just told us. And he tells us that it is true, but they didn't want us to find out like that. It, it got leaked. Like these things happen. And we're like, with how good we've been playing, why do you want to loan us out? Like we can stay and contribute to the team we feel like. And he tells us, well, that might be true. The coaching staff thinks that we got a lot to work on if we want to become like a regular starter, including like positioning, defensive positioning. And we're still just 18 years old and tell us that they think that six months out on loan for the rest of the season will really, really help us in our career. And like, honestly, if we really think about it rationally, he might be right. But we can't help but be mad though. So we give him a very short answer like, yeah, okay, sure. And we walk out. So we head home after that game and we are just, uh, we're a little bit mad. Like we feel like no matter how good we do, like things still change. People don't believe in us. Or at least like that's how we're taking it. So we just eat dinner, you know, try to relax, try to cool off a bit. And we start thinking to ourselves like, come on, we, we know we believe in ourselves. That's the most important thing here. Like we go out on loan, we ball out, we come back and we prove that we're ready to play at the Premier League level. Like just how May United didn't sign us, we came back and we proved them wrong. We know we can do the same exact thing again. So we start getting some frustration out with some push-ups. And once again, we receive a call. It's of course from Phil Giles. And he tells us he's calling about our loan move. Now, like he said, there's interest from MLS, Eredivisie and La Liga 2. Also a few other leagues, but he says that himself, Thomas Frank, the management team, that they are strongly recommending a certain league for us to go out and loan to that they think will definitely benefit our career and help develop our skills. And you know what? Now we cooled off. Now we're thinking about this very rationally like like send us out on loan you know we'll prove you wrong again just like we proved steve mclaren wrong in manchester united so we're like sure we'll go to the league that you guys recommend and phil giles tells us the league that we're going to be loaned out to is going to be revealed in the next episode and also decided by you guys so when this video goes live there's going to be a poll on my community tab a vote on which league we should be loaned out to now what i'm going to do is that i'm going to leave that vote up for like maybe three or four or five hours and then i'm going to take it down so if you're watching this video after that the poll is not there it's already been decided so go vote and you guys are going to decide where Matt you goes for the next six months out on loan but of course drop a like if you enjoyed if you want to see me become ronaldo's agent then click on screen and i hope you have a great day